And nope, no. Oh, jeez. That was really embarrassing. All right. Good morning, Wasteland. It's me, Mr. G, your host, bringing you guys some more cross-out content. And it looks like they've totally rejigged the game. They've redone a bunch of stuff. You guys are basically blowing up the Discord uh, and Reddit, and you're like, what have they done to the game? I, I haven't touched it uh, since they did this massive update. So I'm going to look at some things today. Uh, we're going to see how I feel about it. Uh, I want you guys to let me know how you feel about a lot of these changes in the comments. I know a lot of people are freaking out about the camera changes. Uh, the devs have said, yeah, we'll work on it. We realize, you know, you can't see a whole lot uh, with some of it. We're going to talk about uh, the fact that they added one energy to all common cabins, which is kind of crazy, which means I can throw more porcupines on some stuff. We're going to look at the changes to hover, which everyone's doing like, hey, breaker hover is now meta. We'll look at that. Um, and I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to, uh, you know, fix your camera issues. So there's some new stuff that we'll just start with this. I'm not going to be one of those annoying YouTubers that like makes you watch 30 minutes into the video to show you the thing. We're going to do the thing right now. So... First of all, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to general on the interface, and you're going to want to up your camera distance to 0 0.8, which is going to make it feel a lot more like the old cross out that you're used to, because the other one, it starts out at zero, and you're basically just hugging the rear bumper of your vehicle, and you can't, you can't see anything. It's like you're tailgating someone uh, in rush hour traffic, which that's not great for anybody. Now, Interface, we got. We need to go down here to control of movement parts with strafing. You need to uh, untick some of these, like bind turning to camera. Um, when turned on, cars with movement parts and strafing always turn in the direction of the camera. Yeah, you might not want that on if that's not what you're used to. Um, and you can also do road reverse rotation uh, inversion. Let's see if I still have this thing mapped out for... Uh, yeah, I do. So you ha if you're going to do sideways hovers and you want those to work and make sense, um, you're going to need to you know, tweak those so that it works. But man, hovers way more reactive, way quicker than now. Also, you'll notice lots more things popping up in the user interface. You know, explosions are different a lot more. Hey, you blew this up. Hey, you blew that up. I think some people hate it. Some people love it. And of course, the graphics uh, much different now. But you can see right now, look, with the camera angle at 0 0.8, this is pretty drivable. Now, if I go back into settings, and we go back to general, and we set that at where it defaulted after the update at 0, look at it. Yeah. I can't see anything. I don't... I can't see. So, guys, if you haven't done so, and this is the only thing you get out of this video, and it helps you out, hey, drop a like, right? Easy peasy. Mr. G making your life easier. All right. So... Let's try out some of these changes. Let's try out some of these rigs. Let's see if the whole breaker hover thing is a deal. Uh, also, I made a really evil new porcupine build because now I can because they gave an extra energy on common cabins. Let's check it out. Let's see how it feels. All right, guys. So we're doing a breaker hover build and it has this weird tail dragging bit on the bottom, which uh, you can detonate to release it using the rift, which they bound also to cloak. So I'm not sure why that's in there. It's trying to slow us down. I don't know. I'm gonna ask the guys on the, the Discord here. Um, it reduces the tilting. To not lift backwards when moving backwards. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I don't know how I feel about this part on there. <laughs> All right. Can we just detonate this part off? Yeah, I don't like that part on there. I don't know why they put it on there. So, yeah, we'll see how we feel about breaker hovers, I guess. Everybody's raving about them right now. Da -da -da -da. Where's this guy? Where's this guy? All right, here we go. Here we go. Use the, use the ability so we can shoot down. Maybe it was so we could actually aim downwards and our guns were protected. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have detonated that, nor had it tied to the uh, cloak key. Um, no. Nope. No. <laughs> Look at all the stuff on the screen now. All right. We need to use our ability here. Yeah, we're not doing enough damage, G. Get the guns. The guns. 
Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Just everybody ignore me driving into this building. Because I can't tell which end's the front on this. Alright. Can we help this guy out at least? Can we strip these guns? Oof. Come on. Strip a gun. There we go. We stripped some guns. You saw it. Alright. We try and... I gotta admit, as an old person with tired eyes, it is easier to see stuff, but the screen does feel a little cluttered. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying motion blur, and the game feels a little more updated, I will say that. You know, it was starting to look like it was feeling a little dated there for a bit. How are we still alive? Don't know. <laughs> you better run. You better run. Uh, yep. So I think that the, the intent of that piece was to simply tilt this build further forward so we could get a better angle. Wow, that guy's having fun in the chat. Okay. We'll have to make sure we go into the settings and uh, turn off <laughs> that randos can message us. There's somebody's very upset they got wrecked today. So that's fun. Well, the joys of the internet. <laughs> Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? I hope not. Okay. Alright, everybody, yep. Everybody in the Discord is like, yep. That exists to tilt forward. Okie dokie, it is baby porco flinging time. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Hovers definitely feel more responsive than they used to be. We'll have to wait and see how those play out. But now that they added one energy to common cabins, I can fit three porcupines on the duster. So of course we're gonna we're gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. Woo! We got extra ammo. Oh they're we're getting flankerood here. We're getting a little flankerood. See what we can do to provide some uh, covering fire for our friends. Nope, that guy's dead already. Iron Man's here. We should be okay. Ooh, let's get some of these out over here. Ooh, don't no G. Do not tip this thing over yet. Boop. All right, we're making fire. Although we need to make it, you know, at the enemy would help. That helps. I will flare time. That is the most satisfying kill you will ever get in this game. Tarjum, if you're listening, you need to do one free porcupine for everybody day. So everybody can try this out. Legs feel better. We're going to have to try a leggy build. We're also going to have to try an auger build. Because apparently those got some buffs as well. So we'll be trying all the new movement parts out. Don't worry. Also, we got to try out the new days module. I know we... I don't know how much I care about that one, though. It disables stuff around you or whatever. Um, all right. We're going to fling some porks in the jack general direction. I wish I had omnis on this thing. So we could strafe. But you know what? We're just not complaining today. Boom! Take it. Take it. Victory. Alright, boys and girls. We are now testing out, you know, how uh, how legs feel. How ML200s feel. Also, the guys on the Discord are now telling me that because the way hover physics have been changed, you can actually do wheels plus hovers together. Which... I am kind of curious to try, but sounds super dumb. All right, we are we're slow in this build. Not gonna lie, I do love that it has emergency scraping bumpers if we need them. All right, let's see if we can do some basic little MG action here. Come on, hit the enemy. The game does look better. I mean, it looks more modern for sure. I mean, considering that we're still bound to the same engine. I was glad that they were able to get a little more graphics action out of it, especially since I got a new rig. You know, I wanted to try it out. Boom! I'll take an assist. We're not above it. We're not above it. This guy. Yeah, we gotta do augers next. That's next on our list of things we gotta try. Can we help this guy? We are trying. We are trying, but he's at range. The uh, bodies of your dead enemies thing. Some people hate it. I don't know. I think it's more tactical. 
and realistic, so I always like moves toward realism generally, as long as I don't interfere with gameplay. But you guys tell me, what do you think? You hate it? That the, the dead corpses of your enemies are littering the battlefield? And also people are saying you've gotta you've gotta do your wheel setups differently now with the way they changed wheels. That you can't do the old steering wheels and then non-steering and then steering. Um you gotta figure it out. We'll have to wait and see. But hey, we got another win. Alright, boys and girls, we are trying out meat grinders. Changes to the augers. See if they feel better, quicker, more responsive. So good so far. We will wait and see. I do not need to zoom, G. We are running goblins today. And it's good. And our team seems to be tied up with the enemy. I guess that's okay. We got a baddie coming over the bridge. There he is. Hey, friend. Don't, I can't. Whoopsie poopsie. No, we're turning so slow. Stop shooting me. Stop it. Stop it. Come on, Skinner. Do your job. Do... Oh, come on. I'll take a kill. I will take... I'm not even seeing my Skinner shooting at this point, which is kind of frustrating. But I must be doing something wrong. That guy's wrecked. We got a couple baddies left. Let's grab them. I'd literally like to grab them with the skin. I was really, really hoping to push someone into the chasm of death for you guys today. Nope! I missed. I missed. Well, we're racking up kills today. Me and Garfield. Woo-wee, mama. Boom, boom, boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I like the graphics. I like that everything looks more explodey and a little darker, grittier than it did before. I like it. Maybe I'm just enjoying my new rig, too. What does the days do? Let's just look at it. Let's just do, hey, let's take a peek at this thing. It's a signal jammer. It disables enemy weapons within 35 meters for two seconds. So basically what the Typhoon did. Um, doesn't affect drones, except for autonomous drones. Only one can be mounted at a time. Yeah, gangs of spammers using these uh, could definitely, definitely be an issue for sure. What is popular, though? Let's just see what everybody's running as far as just generally new builds go. Right now, what do we got? Eh, what is this, a tiny baby little hover? All right, let's try that thing. Let's just, because it's the teeniest and the tiniest. It does have a wheel. It's got one Omni wheel. Oh, we need to side, yeah, we need to side mount this. This looks rad. We got to Yeah, this is a sideways build, so... You gotta make sure that you have your, you know, steering with the mouse turned off to run sideways, guys. So, and then invert your reverse. Look at this. It's one wheel. Bunch of machine guns. Wow, actually, this is super rad. Wheelie hover. I kind of love this. Let's try it out and see how she do. Uh, okay, no, they're engaging. That's that's not great because it's a little early. Um, but okay, you know what? We got some minigun action here. We'll take an assist and then we're going to nope out of there with our one Omni four hovers. I got to say, uh, way more responsive than they used to feel hovers. Um, you know, I like that I did not really read any of the patch notes for this one, and I'm literally just jumping in, trying out, and, you know, listening to what everybody's yelling at me about. Everyone's like, breaker, breaker, breaker. Ground hovers are crazy. Yep. Apparently the breaker has a new perk. We might need to go look at that. And nope! No! Oh, jeez. That was really embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. So what is this new perk that is apparently made Breaker the ultimate meta? If during a 0.8 second the weapon doesn't fire and is not overheated, the next shot will have significantly increased range, decreased spread, and increased damage 
the more radiators there are, the higher the bonus. So basically it just constantly buffs itself. That sounds pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Well guys, I like it. I like it the way it looks, the new game. I don't know uh, how I feel about everything else, you know, and you guys, you go tell me, you know, everything that's wrong in the comments, because that's what YouTube's for. But as long as you're not driving something huge and you go into the settings, you can absolutely back up the, the camera field of view. And I do have confirmation from the devs, you know, that it's 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 a bug, not a feature. They're, they're working on it. They know it's an issue. Um, with some of the builds, so they, they realize it. Trust me, all the other crossout YouTubers have been spamming Metronix on the on the partner Discord like nobody's business. They're like, dude, this is a problem. So, you know, what else do you guys want me to pass along? Put it in the comments. Let me know. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Be good. Stay safe. Mr. G, out.